We'd like to welcome our current leader, Caroline Masson, into the interview room. Nice day out there, even par 71. I know got off to a hot start and probably not the finish you were exactly hoping for, but take me through the day and how your round went out there. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, you know, I've, fi I've finished with like three bo bogeys in my last four holes, so it's a bit disappointing, but still uh, I played really solid, you know. Um, it's played maybe a little tougher, and um, I didn't play as good as yesterday, but I mean, I, I expected that after that round yesterday. So, um, you know, I was off to a good start with a birdie on one, um, which was really nice, you know, and it calmed me down a little bit. Um, and after that, I just, uh, you know, made some, made a few good pars, um, but also made some good putts for birdie, and then, yeah, the last few, you know, there were just some bad shots on the last few holes, but um, still, I think, um, yeah, pa a round of level par is never bad, you know, and especially in that situation. So I'm just looking forward to the weekend. When you look at the scores today, too, we didn't see as many low numbers. It seemed that things, people weren't able to kind of put together the type of runs that we saw yesterday. Were the conditions much tougher? Like, what kind of do you think accounted for the fact that we haven't seen as many low scores? Yeah, I don't really know, because, um, I mean, it was a little windier than yesterday, I think so. Um, but, you know, still, you there were like, so many chances out there, you know, to make birdie, but um, it, it all got a little firmer, the fairways, the greens, so um, maybe it was just a little tougher to make birdies, and um, that's probably why. Take me through that stretch. I know, like you said, three bogeys in the last four holes. What kind of went differently for you in that stretch than early on when it seemed like you were just making birdies and kind of cruising along there? Yeah, you know, just, uh, well, I made um, bogey on um, 15, hit it in the water off the tee. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a difficult tee shot, you know, and, and I hit a little left, so I think it just carried in the downslope and just went in the water. It wasn't a horrible shot, but, you know, you just, I mean, that just happens, you know, and I made bogey there, missed the putt, made bogey, and then, um, yeah, the next tee shot was um, pretty far left. So, um, I, I actually, I could go for the, well, I was going for the green just um, for some reason. Hit a good shot and stayed a little short. I couldn't make that putt either then, and, um, yeah, then on 18, you know, hit it left again. I think it was actually an all right, T-shot just because uh, everything kicks to the right, and if, it, if that one had been just a few meters further right, you know it would have been fine. So, yeah, just right in front of a tree, <laughs> chip out in front of a tree again. So I just made bogey, bogey there, but um, yeah, as I said, overall, you know, um, it was still a good round, I think. Caroline, you come from a pretty athletic family. Kind of talk a little bit about your sports background and what lessons have you learned from your dad and, and from your brother in terms of handling, you know, being in the lead or handling like a tough day like today, what kind of lessons have they kind of passed along? Yeah, so my, my dad's a tennis coach and, um, you know, he's um, he's always so positive, you know, which is great. So every time I talk to my parents, they're like, espe especially my dad, he's so positive. And even if I had a bad run or something, he's just like, oh, you know, you can, you can do it tomorrow. Just uh, stay patient. And, um, you know, it's just good to hear that, you know. I think um, I'm, I'm really happy that my parents are not asking, you know, why did you do that or why did you do that? And because uh, that annoys me a little bit. So um, they, they don't care, you know, really um, how I played or whatever. They just always try to make me feel good, I think. And, um, you know, it, it helps me a lot. And he really knows. I mean, he was caddying at the craft for me, you know, and I played pretty good out there. So um, it's just it's just nice to have him around me um, because of that positive attitude. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's always good fun. And I love talking to him about, you know, everything, life, sports. Um, yeah, it's good fun. And with having a dad as a tennis coach, how did you end up in golf and not become a tennis player? Well, I was playing tennis when I when I grew up, and um, I think it's a great sport, and I loved it. But um, you know, <laughs> golf. I don't know. I was better in golf, um, and I at some point I had to make the decision: what, what do I want to play tennis or golf? What do I want to concentrate on? And I was a little better in golf, and I you know running is not e exactly my strength. So um, I thought, okay, I'm better off with golf, and. Uh, yeah, I think I made a pretty good decision there. 